All right, well, welcome everybody. Uh, as you guys know, my name is Dave. I'm with Get Fit with Dave. If I get fit alone, you can get fit with Dave. That's my tagline. Uh, so it's going to be a little. So who is Dave? Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 There we go. So who is Dave? First and foremost, I'm an only child, so I'm stubborn and a brat. At the same time, those are my parents. I'm a loving husband, <laughs> and uh, probably as you guys know, I don't brag too much, but a loving father. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm a baby girl, and then just just recently have a picture. So that's who I am, and that's how I uh, came became a personal trainer and why is to help people in life. So I'm, I am a certified <laughs> personal trainer. <laughs> I am a certified personal trainer, which in every profession, as you guys know, uh, being insured and being qualified is number one. You can go, the, we've talked about this number number of times, uh, you can go the cheap way and go uh, unprofessional and uncertified, but then you don't know what the liabilities and the repercussion of that is. A client I've said once hired a non a non certified trainer, got injured. Luckily, she was a lawyer that would threaten him, but he had no insurance, nothing. So, um, I'm also first aid, CPR, uh, certified first alert. I do work with kids, so I'm certified in the principles of healthy childhood development, KHCD High Five, which is my 17 years working in and with kids with the City of Toronto, Cruise and Zips and all that stuff that I've gained that. I have my NCCP level one ice hockey. Hockey is my passion, so I decided to be a coach for one year and take that. Uh, fitness instructor, uh, spin instructor, group fitness and so um, this is just some pictures before I got into fitness. I know I wasn't like a big, big guy, but I also wasn't a skinny guy. People mistake, mistakenly thought I was a, a rugby or football player because I'm short in stature and I was very broad. I was never embarrassed of my body, but you know, truth be told, I was uh, in a relationship with this girl and you know, when your relationship, you get comfortable, you start eating a lot. <laughs> and we both said to each other that we want to lose some weight. We did it, we, we started it, and then a few weeks later, unfortunately, she decided to end it with me, which is fine because that sparked the light in fitness for me. I decided to go and read. I'm not a scholar. I struggled through the personal training course. Why? Because my mind doesn't think like that. I'm not anatomy. But I decided to get myself a private coach and learn. Um, and if it wasn't for that experience, going through that heartbreak, I would not have been a trainer, and I've learned so much through that. Do you know what I do? Mm. And we ask this question to other people. And a lot of people ask this question. What do, you, what do you think when you're a personal trainer? What do you think? Money, good life, this and that. So this is what my friends think. They're the biggest, the biggest loser. My mom thinks I'm a little bit instructor. <laughs> Society thinks that I only do muscle men and you know bench pressing of a thousand pounds. My clients think I'm a drill sergeant, which is not true. <laughs> what I think I do, I'm a doctor sometimes. But what I actually am, I listen to people's problems. <laughs> and I'm fine with that because this is a no judgment place. I don't care if you can do one push up, I don't care if you can do 100 push ups. I'm here to make you better. And I've heard some stories that I cannot repeat. But that's fine, because that means the first, the first word is personal, and that's what you do, you build. So I, I always tell my clients, I actually just ended with a couple, uh, they've been training with me for nine months, and they thought it was time that they moved on, which is fine, and I told them, listen, just because you're not paying me, it doesn't mean that we can't be friends. If you have a question, let me know. And I send my, my clients during Christmas and Hanukkah and birthdays, and so I send them gifts. Right? I go that extra mile, and I think you need to. Because yes, I'm getting paid, and I get paid very well, but at the end of the day, without them, I don't have a job. So you have to treat them the way you want to be treated. So what does they do? I motivate, I enable, and I lead. I instruct, and I take pride. So one thing about me is you may have heard, may have not heard, when a client achieves their goals, it doesn't matter what their goal is, and they go, Dave, thank you very much. I wouldn't have done it without you. I don't boast. I don't say, hey, look what I did. Because at the end of the day, it's what the client does. So if I see a client three times a week and they eat after the sessions, big mats and all that stuff and do no other workouts, there's no results. They have to physically, emotionally, and mentally prepare for that. So they are the ones that decide that they want to change. So when I was in school and I learned, 
The first stage is not even looking for a personal trainer. It's having that thought. That's the first stage of, 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 of getting there, right? Then you're seeking out um, professionals. I also do vlogs, so video blogs, podcasts, blogs, and more. Oh my. <laughs> so what do I offer? I offer one-on-one -on -one training in home. I come to you, and that's a specialty, right? You can go to a gym, you can be part of the gym, that's fine. A lot of people don't like that. They like the fact that I come to them with no makeup on at six in the morning, with their kids running around, getting ready for school in their PJs. Uh, the fact that I've learned that some of my clients are nice to me, but very, very, very loud and mean to their kids. Not mean to the point where I'm scared, but they use a different language. <laughs> yes, it's true. But I come to you, so I take when it's snowing outside, and long, as long as it's not dangerous, I drive. The snow, the rain, the, uh, the rain yesterday, I drive. Uh, I also learned when I was in school that if it's if a gym is six minutes past, if it's six minutes away or more, you're not gonna, you're more likely not to go. So I take that away from you. Uh, group training, six people or less. Because of space, I, uh, I can't do anything larger unless someone has space, but I've never done more than six people. It's cheaper for the person, but it's, it's, it's more motivating when you have more people there, especially a group of friends. I do online training, and I think that is the future. I've mentioned that a number of times because it takes away all the barriers of cost, time, uh, scheduling. So, uh, she, yeah, you got it a few. Uh, Chris was doing it also, and it takes away that aspect. You tell me, and actually, when you were doing it, I switched things around, like you were, you were a little different. But what happens is you say, Dave, this is what my goal is, this is the materials I have, or this is the gym I go to, create me a workout. I send you an email uh, with a template of uh, a workout from Monday, Friday, Monday to Wednesday, whatever the days are. Don't tell me you're gonna work out for five days and then only work out one. I need it to be honest. If you say, Dave, I can only commit to one day, I'll create one day. And then I send you each week videos that I've already pre-cut myself working out. So if it's bicep curls, I'll do a bicep curls and be standing, or lateral raises, or whatever the case may be. And I really think that's the way of the future. Not apps, not you know, seven minute training or P90X. It's where it's customizable. So when she says, I can't do any jumping, I'm not gonna give her anything that's jumping. As for Chris is like, I can do jumping this, this, and this, and this. So it's customizable. All sessions are custom, no cookie cutter plans. So we've heard of P90X, we heard of Insanity, we heard of the whole Beach Body Craze, all this. Those are great programs. However, they're not personalized. They do have modifications, but they're not personalized. So when you're hiring a trainer, you want a trainer that is not giving you the same workout that he's giving his 83-year-old client. What are my, scenes, my sessions based on and why? Uh, I think it's because it's fun, right? When you're fun, you're more inclined to do something. If it's go down and drop and give me 50 and you hate it, you're not going to want to continue. So if I right off the bat give you something hard and you fail, I'll go, oh wow, I got to go. All right, okay. I hold my clients accountable for their success. So it's truly up to them if they want to. I also just started running a military boot camps. I believe in this uh, quote, results are guaranteed, they're not earned. Why hire a trainer? Here's 50 reasons why to work out. But I don't really care, that's something, that's something that you guys need to focus on. These are why I tell people that they should hire a trainer, because they coach you, they debunk myths, seven day fasts, you know, all the fitness professionals in here can tell you that fasts and, and, and detoxes are not actually healthy for you. The correct technique, no proper squat. A lot of people will do this, right? It's like they're dancing. Hey, you know, it's, uh, you want I like to, that. You know, we're going to sit back on that, we're going to sit back on that dirty toilet chair, right? Like that, you don't want to go past the knees. Hold you accountable, I've said that several times. You're not seeing the results, so you're like, i got to change something. Chris, Chris was a perfect example. Chris has been in the gym for years, and he said, Dave, I need some, I need some help because I'm not getting the results. Mm. You don't know where to start if you're, if you're new to this. It's very daunting going into a gym, especially with guys like this or girls like this. <laughs> you're bored. You don't know, you're just, I, I go to the gym, I just run on the treadmill for an hour, and that's it. We can work from home. You get an ego boost, consistency. Here's some of my proof. 
Uh, some people give me the option to use photos, some you don't. Use picture of me. I did, but we never we, we only had a few, so I never got the other. But this was just a little work. <laughs> I know I keep saying that my, my demographic is usually um, females, which is true, but I do also have male clients. And this is a couple that they started at one of my boot camps in my area and then came on. So you guys will know this one very particularly. You see this photo, you think it's uh, interior pelvic tilt, right? Very typical, well known to here. All you have to do is lose some weight, and you see his posture's changed. As soon as I took that photo, I was almost crying. I said, you, you, I was giving you other exercises. It's all weight in the stomach. Questions, comments, 